World's Playground here. Um, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, first off, I'd like to say um, congratulations to you guys because this is the correct video. This is the video you should be watching right now. It's step one of the three steps that you'll need to follow to be able to put the custom firmware on your PSP. Now, I've made the mistake of accidentally doing steps three and two before step one. Reason being, I couldn't find a single video on YouTube that explained what you're supposed to do first, second, last, middle, and everything. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to help you guys out as best as I can. So, step one is to do the MMS stick, which is the magic memory stick. It does not matter whether you have a PSP Slim or a PSP Fat, and it doesn't matter what version you have. But I do recommend updating to 5.03, even though it does not matter whatsoever. I started out with 3.9, 4.05, and 5.0, and I was able to do it on all versions. Now, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to my link, or well, a description, and then you'll find a link there that will redirect you to PSP Greater 8. It's a program that will be putting the uh, memory, or the, the programs that you'll need to use to run the uh, PSP itself, and it'll put it on the magic memory stick. So, just download that. Once you've downloaded it, try your best to save it into a folder that you'll be able to find later. I recommend the desktop. Once you're, excuse me, once you're done that, you'll need to extract all files. If you're have, having trouble opening up the file, I do recommend going on Google and downloading a thing called WinRAR. WinRAR allows you to open up RAR and zipped files, so if you're having any issues, it will be able to help you out. Um, so after you're done extracting, uh, open up that file, and um, uh, it should uh, I can't include a photo, I'm sorry, because I'm not too sure how to take a photo of the actual program, but it's very simple and easy to understand. Once you open it up, at the top it will say PSP Greater 8, and then you'll have a whole bunch of different little tabs there. But once you look at it, it will be like, you know, so simple to you, it's not rocket science whatsoever. All you need to do is to have a memory stick in your PSP, it needs to be greater than 200, 256 megabytes, because that's how much memory, um, the actual firmware itself takes up, so you need to have over 256 megabytes. Um, and uh, you don't need a Pandora battery for this step, you can just have your regular PSP fat or slim with a memory stick in it. Then what you do is you go to um, download, which you'll have when you open up the program. You click download, and what it does is it downloads the, the correct firmware, which is 5.0. Now once it's downloaded, um, which you'll know because the tab will say like downloaded complete, then what you do is you go to create Pandora stick. But before you click pan create Pandora stick, you got to make sure that your PSP is plugged into your computer. You'll have a cable that usually comes with the PSP that plugs into the top of the PSP there, and then it plugs into the computer via USB. So once you've done that, the program will recognize which folder your PSP is, and then you'll be able to click create Pandora battery. Do not check the box that says format memory stick. So just go ahead and click create Pandora battery stick, or create yeah, create Pandora stick, and um, it will go through a short process of downloading everything you'll need to download on the magic memory stick. After you've done that, you have finished this process or step. Then ple now please go to my link, which I'll have on my video right now, and I have at the beginning of my video. That will redirect you to step two, which is to create the Pandora battery, which is very simple. So thanks for watching. Please rate five star. Please rate five star and subscribe. I really hope I helped you out. And please check out my other videos. And um, please leave some nice comments. Thanks.